Welcome to the quiz from the Video Teach Project. This one is about the tool for assessment called Google Forms, used in education. Have you remembered the main points of the video course? Test yourself in this short quiz. Question number one. What can Google Forms be used for in an educational setting? Option A. Conducting live video classes. Option B. Managing student attendance. Option C. Creating custom forms, surveys, quizzes, and polls. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. Google Forms can be used for creating custom forms, surveys, quizzes, and polls in an educational setting. Question number two. What types of questions can be included in Google Forms? Option A. Multiple choice questions only. Option B. Short answer questions only. Option C. Multiple choice questions, short and long sentences, checkboxes, tickbox grids, and file uploads. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option C. Google Forms allows for the inclusion of multiple choice questions, short and long sentences, checkboxes, tick box grids, and even file uploads. Question number three. What can be done with Google Forms after students submit their responses? Option A. Reports can be generated for each student's response. Option B. Automatic grading is done. Option C. No further actions can be taken. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is A. The user can generate reports for each student's response. Question number four. What option is available under the Settings tab in Google Forms? Option A. Collect email addresses. Option B. Add a timer. Option C. Enable question feedback. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is B. Under the Settings tab, you can choose to add a timer to your Google Form. Question number five. What can be added as part of the answer key in Google Forms? Option A, feedback. Option B, link in videos and feedback. Option C, link in videos. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option B. As part of the answer key, you can add individual point values, feedback, links, and videos to provide more information to students. Congratulations! This is the end of the quiz about Google Forms used in education. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you like it, you can try another one from the Video Teach Project. Thank you very much for going through the quiz with us. You can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project at videoteach.u. All the content of the Video Teach Project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.